In this tutorial, we will going to learn how you can go about creating a navigation. So what I did, in my first tutorial, I created the first HTML page and the second HTML page and I linked them together. That was tutorial number eight. So now in tutorial number nine, what we'll try to do is, we'll try to link more than two pages together. So what I did, I followed the same process, copy pasted the contents of first HTML page, created a third HTML page, and then made some changes like wherever there was first, I wrote third in the comment, third in the title, and I wrote third in the body, and I changed the name of the person. In the fourth one, I did not change the name of the person so that I can show you that's what I'm doing here as well. So I changed the uh, um, comments area, I changed the title, I changed the heading. So I'm basically changing here um, the name and I'll, I'll change the address a little bit, okay. And I'll change the phone number just in case you want to see some difference. So here I've made some basic differences between the four pages. So now, this is where I'm starting with my first page. We learned that inside division, we can be putting in our navigation link. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it out a little bit so that it, the code becomes a little bit more easier for you to read. So one way you can do, go about doing this is I will going to put square brackets. And in the square brackets, I'm going to put all my links. So this is basically the design model that I would like to follow. And I would like to separate all links with a pipe symbol. And as we have learned in the previous lectures that you can only give one space on each side of a character in HTML. So if you would like to give more than one spaces, then you would have to use NBSP. So we'd also like to use NBSP a couple times. And we're going to put this pipe. And then we're going to use it again a couple times. Okay, so let's just start. So now what I'm going to do is I will going to just put in four links over here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to call this one first. I'm going to call second, third, and fourth. And that's basically how my pages are named. And I'm going to change the reference to first page, second page, third page, and fourth page. So that's basically what my navigation will going to look like. Now just to test to see how it will going to appear, I will going to run this after saving it in a browser. And here it is in the browser. And you can see first, second, third, fourth. Now if you notice, here is a little bit of a logical mistake that I made is I put a bar after fourth when fourth should actually be the very last link to be working with. So what I can do now is I can go back to the HTML kit and I can get rid of this extra space in here. Okay. But what I would like to do different here is I would still like to put um, a couple of spaces after fourth and in order to achieve that I would like to put a couple of spaces before the first so that there is equal amount of space on both sides of square brackets on, on the beginning square bracket and ending square bracket so now as I go about testing this here you can go that I have square brackets opening and square brackets closing which is only for design and in between I have four links first page second page third page fourth page first two pages have been visited in the past from this browser the color is purple for the other two the color is blue because they are fresh okay I will not going to link to them at this point in time even if I do if I click on I'm gonna link but and I can click back to the first page similarly I can go to the fourth page and click back to the first page just so that I could see that my navigation is working just fine so every all pages are linked back to my first page now I would like to repeat this navigation in all of my other pages. So I'm going to just go about going, I'll just go to my code. I'll take this entire division area. Okay. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come to the second page. And wherever I had my links in place, I'll just select it. And I'll just replace it with what I just copied from the other page. And I'll do that exactly the same thing in each one of the other pages. So I'll paste it. And then I'm going to go to my last page and do exactly the same. I'm going to paste it. Okay. 
Now let's start this process right from the beginning. So now all that I am on my first page, so I go to uh, launch in a browser. So here is a, a navigation system. And now what I would like to do is as I click on it, it will going to go take me to the fourth page. As I click on second, that takes me to the second page. And that takes me to the first. And you can see that the names are constantly changing. What remains the same, though, throughout the process is uh, the navigation that remains the same so you get a feel that you are on the same website the title area remains the same the picture remains the same the navigation remains the same you're just going from one page to the other so only the content of the page is changing and that's exactly what we would like to achieve in real world in real world when we are developing application for uh, professional applications we would like to keep the same navigation across now there are a few CSS properties that you can apply which we're going to be learning later on in the course as we go through the other set of tutorials. But for now I just wanted to introduce you to the navigation system as to how you can go about um, implementing the navigation system. Now we will going to learn one more thing is how you can go about changing the colors of your active link, visited link and link which is the default color for link. So default color of a fresh link is blue. So we can go in the body tag, and these are all body tag properties. I can go and say, well, I want my link color, when they're fresh, to be green. When I have my mouse on them, so when they're active, I would like them to be orange. And when they are visited, so that's we link, I would like them to be red okay so my link which is my fresh link should be green and I don't have any fresh links at this point in time so you may not see the green color in place at this point in time a link is active that means while I'm clicking but I've not let go the left click yet and visit it as we links and I'm gonna go and run it so now notice all my links, since they are all visited, appear in red color. But as I bring my mouse over and I'm pressing down, notice it changes to orange because that's what the active link should be, orange. However, you can't see the green in place yet. And notice all the other pages, since I did not apply that code, the code is only applicable to the first page. Now, if you do not want your user to feel like, um, you know, it's active versus it's visited versus it's regular, fresh, you don't want them to differentiate between them. So what you can do is you can give all your links the same color. So let's say if I want all my links to appear in green, so I can just put green in, and that exactly will be the color. It doesn't matter what is the case. So now if I go to my browser and I refresh, now they all appear in green color. So now I can take this code from here, and I can copy it and I can go to my second HTML page I can paste it inside the body tag I can go to the third HTML page I can do the same thing and I can do, go to my fourth HTML page and inside the body tag I could repeat this stuff so now after making all these changes if I start to run the web page again now you will going to notice that if I go to second page all links are green, third page, all links are green, fourth page, all links are green. You can't really differentiate between what has been visited and what has not been visited yet. And what is active, even if I'm pressing down, it still shows the green color. But when I let go, it actually changes that page content. So those are some of the ways that, these are some of the ways that you can go about um, applying some of the color properties to your link and in some sites you would have noticed that the text color doesn't really changes if it is active visited or not so basically it's a matter of working with this HTML property well that's all for now see you soon